This is Frank from Apple One to One, and today we're going to discuss how to customize the toolbar in Pages, Numbers, and Keynote. And the reason we're going to look at all of these because we've mentioned several times before how the functionality between these three programs is very similar and once you learn how to do something in one program it very often translates to the other program so let's get into this the first thing we're going to do whatever program you want to customize the toolbar for you obviously open it so here we're going to start with numbers you just put your pointer up on the toolbar Double click or two finger press on the trackpad and select customize toolbar. That brings up this list. And as you can see, I have pages open here with a very similar list. I have Keynote open down here with a very similar list. So how do I want to approach this is in the following manner. I'm going to show you the icons that they all have in common. We're not going to go into each functionality of the, of the uh, icons, but we're just going to show you which ones are, they have in common, which ones are unique to that particular program. Here I have a list in pages of all of the icons that are similar or exactly the same actually not similar they're very, they're exactly the same in each program starting with view then zoom table chart text shape media comment share format move forward move backward front back flip horizontal flip vertical group ungroup bigger smaller superscript, subscript, outdent, indent, copy style, paste style, guides, mask, remove background, lock, unlock, now your fonts, link, adjust image, find, print, color, space, and flexible space. Those are all of the icons that they have in common. So, how do you adjust what you have up here in your toolbar? All you do is just what it says here. Drag your favorite items to the toolbar. Meaning, if I... Now, this has insert, table... Oh, and the other thing. Down here, it says show, icon, and text. You can just have it show the icon. All right? I prefer the icon and text. So whichever one you choose, have at it. So if I wanted to include, say, comment up in here, I just come down to the comment icon, hold the trackpad down or your mouse, and drag it up. Boom. There it is. Hit done. And it appears. Now, if I wanted to make a comment in this document, I would just hit it on that. And there's your comment. And you... Type in whatever you want and hit done. Just put something in, hit done. Okay. Now, if I want to remove that, double click, customize, click on the icon, drag it down. There you are. You're back. That is true for all all three of these programs it's just that simple so what you're going to do you're going to adjust these according to what you need most often in your toolbar and that, and that's really what the toolbar is for you're going to use it to put in the functions that you use most often in whatever the program is pages numbers or keynote now again all of these on this sheet are exactly the same from one program to the other. So now you might ask, well, which are unique? Which are different? All right. In this diagram, I have circled those items that are unique to each of the programs. We have pages here, numbers over here to the right, and down below we have keynote. 
So the first thing in pages that is unique is add a page. So if you're typing a document in pages and you want to add a page, you just click on that icon and it will add a page. Or if you space down to the bottom of the page, it will put a page. But insert a page is a, is a lot easier. The second one that is unique is track changes. Now, if you are collaborating with a person or a group of people, track changes is, is a good item to have in there because if somebody makes a change to the document, if you have this on and you hit track changes, um, it will enumerate all of the changes made by each of the individuals and you can always go back and reference them. The last two is mail merge and bookmarks. So mail merge, I'm sure a lot of people that use pages or uh, Microsoft Word uh, are familiar with a mail merge. Now, we're, like I said earlier, we're not going to go into how you use each of these functions within each of the programs, um, but that's what these are. And then, of course, you have your bookmarks. And your bookmark is nothing more than to, to indicate uh, a particular page that you want to bookmark for whatever reason. All right, let's jump over to numbers. Now, numbers... The only one that is unique here is pivot table. Now, pivot tables uh, are unique to spreadsheets. Excel has pivot tables. Numbers now has pivot tables. And they have a unique function. And we're not going to get into what they are. But if you want to get more information about a pivot table, you just go to Apple support, type in pivot table, and it'll explain that to you. Down in Keynote, we have six items that are unique to Keynote. One is the play button, play in window, rehearse, Keynote live, which you can broadcast a live Keynote, and object list and connect. So, other than what's indicated here by a yellow circle, uh, all of the other icons are the same. And they can be updated very easy by just dragging them up to the toolbar. And if there's something on the toolbar that's already there that you don't use that often, and you want to remove it, all you do is bring up this toolbar screen and click on the icon and drag it down into this area and there you go so you can make up your own unique toolbar for any one of these programs now it is not if you make one for pages it will not automatically move over to numbers or keynote they are unique in that sense they are they are individual within each of those programs, but they are easily manipulated within the program and will be saved. Well, I hope you guys found this useful and don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button. Talk to you soon. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for viewing our content. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you can see all our training videos as well as links to download our podcast.